Hey everyone, this is KM2JAX, and I'm gonna just show you real quick how to set up uh, APRS Droid and the Kenwood THD74 over Bluetooth, so you can use APRS Droid and the built-in TNC over Bluetooth on the Kenwood. So um, I will note that the APRS uh, Droid documents say there's like a file about Kenwood, and they talk about how. Um, you know, they say something like you can receive but not transmit. Uh, for that, I believe they're talking about the uh, the N NMEA uh, mode on it. Um, that's not what we're going to use. We can actually just use the TNC and we can transmit and receive uh, and everything should be fine. So what we're going to do here is we're going to ignore the APRS options uh, and just use this as a normal TNC. I don't know if you can have APRS working on both the radio and the phone at the same time with this method. Uh, we're just going to be using the TNC and the, and the radio, so the radio will have no context for what we're doing. Um, but we turn Bluetooth on here, and then we'll uh, put it into, uh, let's see, uh, pairing mode. So we go into the settings here, we go to Bluetooth, and we hit pairing mode. We'll turn that on, and then we'll just go over here on the phone, open up Bluetooth settings, and we should see uh, the... THD 74 pop up on this list and we'll just connect to it. So there it is, THD 74, tap on that uh, and it should give us like a pairing code. Yeah, so we'll hit pair on here and then we'll hit the dual button here. So the uh, the button that does the OK option seems inconsistent in the menus on this radio for whatever reason, but in this case you'll press the, the dual AB button. Um, so now this is paired over Bluetooth. We can switch back to APRS Droid, and here's the settings, okay? So I'll write this all down, but you want to go to Connection Preferences. The connection protocol is going to be TNC KISS. The connection type will be Bluetooth SPP. And then I didn't find a need to set a channel. I just left this blank, um, and that seems to work fine. And then with Bluetooth settings, uh, that actually just opens up your Bluetooth settings. Uh, for the Bluetooth device, we'll of course select the the THD74, right? So we hit that, and then it should just work out of the box, is, is the experience I was having. Um, oh, there's one more thing you have to do. You have to go into the settings here. I believe it's it's under interface settings, yeah. So you have to go over to the KISS option and select Bluetooth, okay? If you don't do this, then it won't actually connect to the TNC over Bluetooth, but if you do that, then uh, it'll expose the TNC over Bluetooth to your phone, right? So we'll do that. We'll go over to the APRS frequency, which is of course 144.39 in North America. And then we'll go over to uh, the settings here, and we'll just switch this over to the KISS mode, right? So we hit the function key and APRS until it says KISS 12, okay? So we have KISS 12 over here on the radio, it's on the right frequency, and then we'll just turn the connection on between the phone and the radio. So here we have the phone set up, we'll hit the start tracking button, and you should immediately see that the Kenwood says connected, and there's a little Bluetooth icon up there. Um, and now the, the phone and the radio are connected. So, if we pull up a packet list, we should start to see stuff scroll across here as we start to receive packets. Now, over here at the desk, we're not going to receive anything uh, just because of how this apartment is shielded a little bit. So, I'll move this over to the windowsill. We should start to see stuff pop up on this screen. So, here we have the phone and the Kenwood set up over here uh, by the window where we actually have reception. And you can see the radio is receiving. Um, when the green light comes on, and then we'll see the phone pop up the packets over here in APRS Droid. So this is connected over uh, over the TNC. We can actually listen to the... Uh... Yes, yeah, so we can actually listen over to the packets coming in if we adjust that. I don't know if there's a way to turn off the audio there. I think there is, but I haven't played with that, so we'll just... So of course we are able to receive all these packets, but I did want to show that we can, with this setup, using the Bluetooth TNC, actually transmit um, our beacon. And so what's going to happen is the phone itself is going to generate out the packet and just send that through the TNC and the radio, right, uh, over Bluetooth. So 
just gonna set this to be a little lower for a second just to force it to send an update. So we'll drop that down. You can see the red LED on the radio for just a second and this little green text here that shows you know, that it transmitted a packet. And we can see if I hit the digipeter, I may or may not have, but if I pull up APRS5, it'll tell us. Uh, no, okay, so yeah, it doesn't have my update. Um, it's a little hit or miss if I can actually hit the digipeter from my apartment, but um, sometimes I can and that's always nice. So we'll pull up, just real quick, to turn that you know, way back up, because I don't want to be spamming this network. Um, but yeah, there you have it. So you can actually um, receive and transmit over Bluetooth uh, using the TNC in the uh, Kenwood THD74. So went through this kind of fast. If you have any questions, need help debugging anything, um, be sure to just leave a comment and I can help you out on that. Um, but I am very excited that I'm able to basically just use the, the radio as kind of a, you know, just a radio. Uh, as a TNC and then you know put it in my bag put it on my desk or something and then just interface with this on my phone Which is pretty nice. Um, and you can see all these cool stations out here in New York using all kinds of different hardware so we've got like the You know a lot of people running Raspberry Pis. There's tiny tracks out here um, You know a lot of cool stuff. So anyway again, if you have any questions, let me know otherwise, you know 73 have a good one